Hey guys and welcome to another video on Swordsman Online, the MMO from PWI, Perfect World Interactive, I missed entertainment, that begins with an E, not an I. Few, uh, just a quick tip video this time, I'm going to be looking at the self-cultivation, uh, something I didn't really go over to, well I didn't go over anything at all very well in the, the initial introduction. This is what I'm going to be looking at today, it's the self Cultivation. I, I've seen it in a few other games, uh, especially from Perfect World, uh, mainly Jade Dynasty. That was the big one I played. That was a, a big thing that you could do in there, and it's essentially botting. It is perfectly legal, straight, legit botting, so you can do the unnecessary grinding parts and collecting of shit to upgrade your weapons and blah de blah de blah without getting into trouble for it. It does cost, not money, but points, as you can see down the bottom, drive. You get 600 points, uh, you get 200 points given to you daily, I believe that is, and each point is worth a minute, so you, at total that's 10 hours of this self cultivation and it does help a lot, so I'm just going to walk through some of the settings and just how to set it up, a decent way of using it. Just in case you don't know, I know there's a lot of people who've been asking about it, especially on the forums as well, they can't quite get to grips with it. So we'll take a look, shall we? These are my settings, obviously, you might want to change them up. Uh, obviously skills are dependent on class and preference. This is how I've done it. Let's get on. Our first setting is the range setting. This is how far your character will travel back and forth and picking out targets within a certain distance. I'm not sure what the actual measurement is, but I've just set it to max because it seems to be the easiest. It's quite self-explanatory. Same with most of this on the general settings, to be honest. Uh, when to stop, uh, when you've died ten times, or dying ten times <laughs> cancels it, rather. There we go. And you can also set it to if you've been killed. Uh, by the players. If you've been player killed a certain amount of times then you will also quit the self cultivation. And then there you go. 30 minutes without earning any experience. You can take that off if you just want it to carry on if you're grinding very low level mobs. If you're high level, if you're only grinding for uh, fine items to get a little bit of uh, gear upgrade. But we'll move on to that one shortly. Target settings. This one is, I'll tip that one, quite a good one to use. This time of about a minute, then a target in all. This will kind of help to stop your character from trying to kill, say, a world boss on his own, or her own, or whatever. It'll stop you from killing, like, the really big bosses and stuff. If it's taking longer than a minute to kill a certain enemy, then it'll just move on to the next one. That's a good one to use, you don't end up just constantly being killed because you're getting back to the same. Because when you do die, if it haven't come past this certain amount yet, then your character will auto-travel back to the place that you were killed, and it'll carry on doing it again. Which is awesome, it's cool, you haven't got to keep checking up on it. Although if you do die too many times, then obviously you've got to check on your gear and your... Um, the amount of damage your equipment's taking, so there you go, ums and ahs, but whatever, we'll get through it. Collection, very good, very good. Uh, always good to have a, a companion down here, a companion that's got the pickup skill and a sale skill is definitely the best one to go for, so what we can use here is just to enable the companion collection, so she'll just go run off and pick up all the crap, put it in your bag. And you can cut this if you if you're cultivating in a party, and it'll also go for any nearby item drops and that sort of thing. Like I say, self self-explanatory. Same with the loot, uh, selling off crap items, just like the junk stacks and stuff, and anything that's either common. If you keep this at common, it's it's a good idea to keep it common, and I'll I'll go into that in a minute why. And this will only sell items in your primary bag as opposed to anything in your secondary or third bags or 
any other extra bits but it will not sell anything until your inventory is completely filled up so do bear that in mind and that's a good thing it's always a good idea to keep clicking the save button every time you are finished with the screen Whew. next we move on to the skills these are uh, it's kind of a pain in the ass to set up a custom uh, a custom set of skills to use during uh, self cultivation you can use one of your very standard styles that you get or if you want to use your own custom style uh, this was called AOE but it's all changed because I've changed it to set up for this specifically not what I would normally use and as you can see these are my powers that I'm using in this skill set and some of them are you know there's a couple that are not on there if you try and change it to a different one they all go blank so if you um, so you'd have to use some from there but it's no good because maybe you want some of these skills but you also want some from these but you can also obviously as you can see I've got more skills on my self cultivation tab than I have available to actually use which was where the annoyance was coming in and the way to get around that is to keep changing your custom style up and then slotting them in as you go along and then changing it back to whatever you want because this will stay the same then so that's a workaround I suppose and obviously these are just setting your cooldowns whenever to use that skill so just check your cooldowns and check uh, sort of distances between each skill you want to use and set them up accordingly and you can also use charge skills it will also uh, actually charge up a skill for you on its own and then the combat focus skill which if you want to take a quick look is the ultimate skill that you can see down there very pretty <laughs> uh, I don't know any of the restore settings but I'll move on from that that's just my skills let's move on healing big one important one especially if you're grinding for XP I haven't really done this myself I've only ever really been grinding for equipment but it's always good especially to uh, set up potions for health and chi especially a chi because that does go down quite quick as you can see I'll chuck one up there if I can press the right button so obviously you can set this and when your health or your chi is below a certain percentage it will use one of the potions from your inventory it's always nice to stack up on a few of them if you want to leave it going for a certain amount of time you can also auto buy recovery items if you ever run out but you shouldn't need that you should always have enough for the amount of time you want to use it for always buy enough before going in if you want to set up for a certain amount of time so just be wary of that same with your companion you can always heal your companion and if you've got the other potions like for loyalty you can also recover them automatically as well very very good and then we can stop at different energies and you obviously you've got to bear in mind of this and it goes down after killing uh, enemies and doing instances and dungeons and yada 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 so always pay attention to the different amounts of energy you've got because there's just fucking there's loads for everything it's all very very limited I don't know if they're going to increase it or change it or what but yeah, I don't quite like it the way it is done at the minute but we'll see <laughs> also another bit to note if you have a companion skill to repair you can also automatically repair your equipment good to know final tab nearly there trust me <laughs> gear upgrading this is the awesomest of tabs and the best one and the one to look at the one I've got it set up so when your bag is full automatically use any excellent equipment so the green named items it's usually just junk and when it is f full it'll systematically go through all of your equipment and you can see the uh, the rotation here so we'll go through these automatically upgrades in self cultivation and paid with your bound coins which is your bottom row the ones with the little locks and that is used to boost statsy gear so you don't need to use the refinement stones that you get from quests and crates and blah 
Bleh. Very good to know. It is also only applied to gear in your primary bags. This actually, the primary bag includes, you know, the stuff that's on you, but it won't apply to anything that's in your cloth, leather, or goat hide bags, or whatever. Oh, there we go. Selecting moderated upgrades, which is the one I have set to, so it evenly spreads out your upgrades. So it'll upgrade one, then move on to the next, and so on and so forth, and keep coming back round until it uh, gets back to the start. Unless there is an exception to this. So if we take a look and say that most of these are plus three. And my weapon was plus four. All of these were plus nothing. <laughs> these were all standard and my weapons were plus four. So it skipped out the weapon. And it hasn't touched the weapons yet. It's, auto it's systematically gone through the rings. So as we can see here, left ring, right ring, pendant and so on. So it's done all these until they get all the way around to round four. And when they're all at plus four, then it will start including the weapon into it and it will upgrade them all then to plus five. It's just catching the rest up first and then it will move on. Alternatively, you can select first boost and you can say, well, I want my weapon to be plus nine. And it will ignore all your other equipment and only solely focus on your weapon until that is plus nine. And then it will move on to doing the rest afterwards so uh, once it's done that's plus nine it'll as it says here it'll go back through the the little order of doing everything moderately but i just keep it to moderate it gives you a nice boost of everything in moderation very good that's all of our stuff so once we've saved that you need to then find your spot and i have a really decent spot here just for Collecting items, it's no good for XP, especially since I'm a fair few more levels ahead. But there's decent groups of enemies around. There's also another few people here, <laughs> as always. But you got a few here. There's a couple of good spots over here. These Eminence Houndmasters... Uh, traveling big groups and they also have the hounds with them and they do have a decent drop rate for first class uh, not first class rather excellent equipment which is the green tier which is very good for the purposes of what we're using this for which is to upgrade equipment so you can just you can see there's other people doing this at the same time these are generally the reasons why they would come to this sort of area there's not much else to be done here so if we just click the button up here click begin it does change your uh, your targeting mode from action or standard to the SM classic which is the very simplistic uh, single click kind of mode which is very horrible and icky and ugh. So be sure to remember to change that back to your preferred style once you have finished self-cultivating. And that is about it. That is all you need to know. You can just let it go. It'll go off and do its own thing. You can still kind of manipulate it. It is a bit buggy still at the minute. There are things that need working out. But they'll get through it. And that's it. That's all you need to know. So you can go off and get all the equipment you want. Thanks for watching guys, I will see you next time. Ta-da!